when the 23 chromosomes from the mother and the 23 chromosomes from the father meet at the moment of conception, you already have a complete person. Hindi mapupuspon yung union ng egg and sperm and the genetic material that they contain five days later when you wait for implantation. And the beautiful thing, I don't know, since in medical school we show this to medical students all the time, when you see the microscopic beginning of life, tatayo ang balahibo nyo. Because the moment the sperm and the egg meets, everything happens so quickly, in a few minutes, in a few hours, and in a few days, you see the beginning of a person. Not everything happens so beautifully and a perfect human being at that. With everything that goes to the way you are right now. Okay, so what am I saying here? Contraceptives have post-fertilization effect. We have to admit, there are a minimum of three mechanisms of actions of most artificial contraceptives. Meaning, um, that in the first place, there will be no ovulation. Meaning, there's no egg to fertilize, and that's fine, right? You might say, oh, they wala pang baby, okay pa yun. Second, uh, there's a mucus plug. Hindi makakapasok ang sperm. So again, sabi niyo, okay, fine. Wala pang baby. But there's a third mechanism of action, just in case, kumalpak yung dalawang mechanism of action, which is, there is fertilization that took place and the failure rate of, of contraceptives is at least one in a year. One in a year. So the woman bleeds, she doesn't even know that she has become pregnant if she were fertile at the moment of intercourse with the husband. Okay? So, but you don't know which mechanism of action is happening at any point in time, right? But in medicine, our dictum, and we always tell doctors this, is, in case of doubt, don't act. Why? Because you could be harming your patient. Gusto niyo ba yun ang hindi ko alam magagawin ko? Tapos, anyway, mali ba naman niya? Kung tapay ginagawa ko, o hindi. Di ba? Kasi kami lang naman ang nakakaalam. No. You owe it to your patient that when you're in doubt, don't act because you might do more harm than good. Okay? So, in other words, if once a year, and the, the couple is sexually active and fertile, there's the probability that there's chemical abortion happening once a year. Bakit hindi 100% foolproof ang artificial hormonal contraceptives? Because these are steroid hormones. Alam niyo ba steroids? Ginagamit ng athletes to boost their, their muscle mass. Ang dami-dami side effect ng steroids. You just refer to any book, dictionary, everything. You know that steroids cause hypertension, everything. IUD, worse. Because basically, its effect is post-fertilization. Okay? I will not bother you with all the side effects. As I said, all you need to do is to check our medical textbooks. This is the IUD, in case you haven't seen one. This is how we insert the IUD inside the womb of the mother. Obviously, it causes, it could possibly cause bleeding, at the very least. If not infection, etc. Okay? Tubal sterilization and vasectomy, the said side effects. Okay, what is wrong with essential medicine? In the first place, let me tell you that in principle, no one should impose on the doctor what medicines we should be using. Obviously, siguro naman alam namin kung anong gamot ang makakabuhay at makakamatay sa pasyente namin. There, that's why each hospital is entirely autonomous as far as coming up with our own drug list are concerned. Depende kung anong sakit ng mga tao sa community mo, yun yung dapat nagamot sa butika mo. Diba? Siyempre, hindi tayo pare-pareho. Depende kung anong sakit sa amin. That's why there is a committee per hospital. And that the basis of the committee for choosing any drug to be included in their drug list is relevance, efficacy, and safety down the line. What happens? Kung normal ang pagbubuntis ng babae, actually, hindi naman magastos ang kailangan mo lang ferrosulfate and folic acid. So, kung tutusin, kung merong essential medicine that should be in all botika ng bayan up to the bundoks, the only thing a, a normal pregnancy would want, would demand, would be ferrosulfate and folic acid. Kung complicated, obviously, dadami yung gamot. That's where the prenatal checkup will tell us what else we need to prepare for when somebody is about to give birth. Okay, so what happens? Kunwari, na-approve yung bill, naging essential medicines ang contraceptives. May pasyente ako, ay, ay, our community in FEU, we used to take care of the gat-dagatan, yung naman siguro kami yung gat-dagatan, currently we're taking care of payatas. 
Ano ang sakit ng mga pasyente doon? Palagay nyo, TB, botot balat, malnutrition. Lumulara ng dugo. Uminom na lang po kayo ng pills. Iba ba sa ito, uminom na lang po kayo. Ganun ba kami? Pag lumulara ng dugo ang pasyente ko, kapupuntahin ko si Health Center para humingi ng libre anti-TB drugs, right? But if you channel the public funds, to non-communicable and communicable non communicable and communicable diseases area of healthcare, what will happen to our TB patients? Wala. And to think that TB is continues to be in the top, top three leading cause of morbidity and mortality around the world, not just in the Philippines. Okay? So contraceptive cause cardiovascular disease, lipoprovera, this is the injectable one, fracture. IUDs are not safe because it leads to bleeding. I, I mean, really, let me challenge anyone who is pro I IUD. Pa insert kayo sa amin. I'm serious. Alam niyo ba yung sinasuffer ng mga babae namin pag ina IUD namin? I'm serious. The humans, the cervix of a woman is closed. Kahit na ipagpilit ako ipasok ang pinakamaliit kong talire, hindi ko yan maipapasok. Para maipasok ko ang IUD, I have to forcibly open that with a forceps. Okay? And I'm not exaggerating kasi ginagawa namin to sa health center. Okay? As I said, I challenge anyone para prove to me that there's no problem with IUD, ask yourself to be inserted with IUD and I will be lauding you for that great act. Okay? Bleeding and pain, So, what are the common causes of morbidity and mortality? According to the WHO, it's actually communicable diseases, TB and pneumonia ranking in the top 10. Okay, and therefore, more funds should go to communicable diseases in our country. Control of communicable diseases. Malapit na tayo matapos mga liha. Okay. Ang sabihin lang naman, we're a free country. This is a democratic country. As long as you allow us doctors to do what we have to do. You cannot dictate on us to tell us what we do to our patients. Hindi kami nag-aral ng sampung taon para lang diktahan kami ng kahit sinong gobyerno para sabihin sa amin na mabuti para sa pasyente namin ng isang bagay that in conscience hindi ko magagawa because I know I'm going to do more harm than good. Okay? So no one can dictate to us. Consent. So, kahapon, tinext ako ng kaibigan ko, clerk sa PGH. Nako, doktora, magdasal mo ko. Kakainin ako ng buhay ng mga residente ko. Bakit? Kasi family planning na rotation ko ngayon. Hindi ako pwedeng magsalita ng masama about artificial contraceptives. At bakit? Nasa UP ka. Nag-iba na ba ang UP? Really? We're all UP, UP graduates here, right? Kayo, ako pala ka rin <laughs> so, what do you see? Lay down the cards to your patients. Kami pala. Lay down the cards to our patients. Okay lang naman po. Kapaliwanagan ko po kayo. Ito po ang bawat isang... Actually, the fact is, we do that to, for all diseases and for all medications. We're not singling out contraceptives here. We owe it to our patients to always educate them about any medicine that we are prescribing to them. Baka na nakala nyo inaapig ang RH? No. We do that for every little tiny bit of prescription that we give to our patients. Okay, so informed consent. Make your patients be the one to choose, but never coercing, never... <coughs> ang anong style ng mga doktor? Mrs. pag ito, hindi mo ako sinunod, mamamatay ka. Eh, marinig ko ba naman yun? Eh, di syempre, takot mo lang mamatay, di ba? Di syempre, susunod ka. But are you being truthful when you say that? Are we being truthful? That's why we always have to listen to what our medical students, our nurses, our midwives are saying. Because if they're lying, that's against the principle in medicine. You cannot lie to your patients. You cannot coerce your patients. Therefore, for the, what am I saying here? I'm not for anak ng anak. Don't get me wrong. We see enough poverty around us. When we visit the slums, pagkain ko na lang sa PJH, hindi ko pa makakain kasi tatlong, tatlong araw na hindi ko makain yung pasyente ko. Okay? So don't get me wrong. 
I want to eliminate poverty as well. I want to improve the health status of my patients as well. But there are better means, more legitimate means, more safe means for my patients. Okay? So, all these things are, should be the characteristics of a good furnace. In fairness, the Billings Method, which was started in Australia, has been tried in the two most populous countries in the whole wide world. This is in China, and this is in India. Para mihan ng population, pag ilang pang Pilipinas. Siyempre, hindi naman tayo nasa top 10, no? So, sobrang desperado na ang China at saka India. Dapat makotroon ang growing population nila. Okay, fine. They hired up the, the, the Billings Method Group from Australia. And what was their findings? Compared to the IUD group, this is a well-researched, well-done research design. We critique research designs. They have 37,000 uh, Phoenix Method teachers trained, 2.7 million fertile couples in regular use. Success rate is 99%. Meaning, if you have millions of Chinese who trade, trade who have the Billings Method using them, 2.7 Chinese couples using the Billings Method, only 1% of 2.7 million got pregnant. Obviously, it requires a lot of cooperation for both couples. You cannot have family planning. Meron pa lang family planning na mother lang. Kano mo kayo nakakita? Eh, sino ba gumagawa ng family? Sa so, lagi na mong mabuntis ka mag-isa, di ba? Eh, syempre kailangan mo yung asawa. So, paano ka magka-counseling na ang mami lang ang kausap mo? Di ba? Obvious naman yun. So, Abortion rate dramatically reduced, 32% of infertile couples even gave birth because the thing with Billings method is you also use it to help a couple get pregnant. It works both ways. Okay? And let me tell you, sig sasabihin nyo, siguro ang galing-galing naman nila, ang bait-bait nila, masunong rin, etc., etc. I tell you, the participants in this study are rural and urban Chinese who are be good belonging to the different social education status, strata, and ethnic. In other words, the energy-educated, the peasants were included. If these are not done, obviously, mas mahirap pasunod din ang mga edukadong tao. Kasi feeling nila, alam na nila yun. Diba? Okay, sa Delhi. Okay, slums. Let me underline the word. Urban poor in Delhi slums. Ilan ang pinag-aralan nilang tao? Baka sabihin nyo, naku, baka naman 12 lang ang sample size niya. Walang point. Ayun, obviously. You're talking about 5,752 women. And the success rate was 99.86%. Billings method, urban poor, uneducated women in Delhi. Therefore, based on the presented evidence, we're talking about evidence-based medicine here and now, if and when, as I said, I'm not for natalism at all costs. Ano yung sabihin nun? Anak ng anak. Wala ka namang pagpakain mo lang sa mga anak mo. Wala ka man lang ipagpagamot kung sakaling magkasalakit ang mga anak mo. Sino ba naman ang may gusto ng gano'n? I don't think any one of us is for that. What we're saying here is for responsible parents. Okay? And if there is a serious motive for, for spacing children, we as doctors, if only you trust us, know how to help you space out your children without harming you. Because it goes against the very core of our profession to want to harm our patients. You just have to, to make sure you're in the hands of the right doctors. Ganun lang naman yun. Baka mapapunta kayo sa mga malimaling doktor, eh wala, hindi ko naman sasabihin yung mga yun. No? So, I'm definitely against the RH bills. The way it stands, for me naman, there are good things in the bill. This thing of the desire to, to alleviate uh, poverty, the desire to eliminate uh, maternal mortality, infant mortality, the desire to control domestic violence, which was my master of thesis, I'm all for that, no problem. But unless something is done to make some of the provisions respected, respectful of human life and respectful of the medical professions, I beg to disagree. Because you are going against the things we believe a lot about. And that's why I'm a doctor. No? So that's, that's for now.